up, Frank and Sean, back with another video for y'all today, and we definitely got a review popping, and that's going to be Barakat Satin Oud, guys, Barakat Satin Oud, man, what can I say about this one, cloning that MFK, I believe is Oud Mood, not Oud Mood, it's, it's slipping my mind right now, I'm not going to even lie to y'all, but this is, I mean, I'm going to give the name for y'all, but, Satin Oud, man, <sighs> banger, alright guys, Stay tuned, The Fragrance Show. Welcome back into the channel, man. Peace to everybody in the fragrance community, man. Shouts out to everybody doing their thing. Shouts out to all my new subscribers, man. We heading towards 7K, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just dedicated, you know, got that Mamba mentality going on, man. And we just gonna keep it pushing, man, for sure. So today we're talking Satin Oud, guys. And this bottle is from Fragrance World. Now, I do believe I had the Mason Alhambra one and that one was good. It was good, but I, I like these this presentation much better, man. You know how, cause it looked it look just like the real thing, yo. I'm not gonna even lie, man. Whew. But yes, this is definitely cloning that MFK Oud Satin Mood. And this is just called Satin Oud by Barakat. Man, you got the haddest in your collection, guys. Let's talk about some notes and some price points up on this one, all right? Well, guys, I did pick my bottle up off of Triple Traders. Y'all know how your boy get down. And right now on Triple Traders, this one is going for $34.99, guys. $34.99 definitely has a five-star rating. And the notes up on this one, you're gonna get rose, vanilla, argyle wood, uh, benzoin. You wanna get Bulgarian rose. There's a lot of rose up in here. Bulgarian rose and Turkish rose, I will say that. And um, it's labeled as a unisex fragrance, guys. Now, I did spray this. Uh, I sprayed this on a strip. I sprayed this on my skin, guys. This is a banger. This is one of those fragrances where we will label as beast mode. This one lasts very, very long. So, you know, either try to get a sample of it. I don't know how you would do that. I'll try to smell somebody that has it already before buying this because when you spray this on you, you're going to need to take a shower to wash it off. I'm just keeping it real. Um, so, right now, I'm going to spray it for the sake of this video. I'm going to spray it out. I don't want to, well, if it get on me, whatever. When you first spray this one, you're going to get hit with that rose, that Bulgarian rose, that Turkish rose. When this one starts to work, boy, it, ha it has some sweetness. I guess that's coming from benzoin. And you're also going to get the vanilla in this one. And it also says argon wood, which is oud. I don't really get that much oud in this one right here. And I have to tell you guys, I have never smelled the OG. So you guys let me know. If you guys have smelled the OG and you get oud from it, by all means, you know, let your boy know down in the comments. But man, this is an elegant fragrance. This is something you wear when you wanna get dressed up. And when you're going out um, at night, this is definitely a nighttime fragrance. It's sexy, it's alluring. And it's definitely unisex. Some men might think this leans a little feminine. Some, I think it's done very nice. Uh, being a for unisex fragrance, I will say that. Some men is not gonna like this. And I also had the one, I believe, from, it's another version of this, I forgot, it slipped on my mind. I think it might be Paris Corner. Paris Corner has a, their version of this one as well. But I will say, oh, I like the presentation on each fragrance world's one, because, you know, if it's a clone, this, this is it right here, guys. This is it for sure. So yes, guys, at first spray, you're definitely gonna get hit with rose, vanilla, sweetness from benzoin. Oh my goodness. Um, like I said, I don't get that much oud in this one right here. Um, but nevertheless, it's still good. Man. Just keeps me coming back to it. It's a room filler, 10 plus hours worth of performance, two plus hours worth of projection. $34.99, guys, pick this one up if you haven't already. Like I said, time of day for that one is nighttime. That's a formal scent. Now, weather, to me, that's more of a spring, fall. And even if you wanna push it into the winter time, I think it could cut through cooler air like that. Definitely if you go heavy on the sprays, but you don't wanna pull this one out in the summer. You're gonna be 
choking people out for sure. But I'm glad I have this version of it. I like how these bottles sit up on my shelf. And um, you guys let me know. Um, I can't necessarily say that it's spot on to the OG because I haven't smelt that. But from just watching content and watching people break this fragrance down, they definitely say it's fairly close to the MFK Oud Satin Mood. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I paid $34 for a banger that's going to definitely make the spring fall and maybe crack my winter rotation. But you guys let me know down in the comments what y'all think. All right. So that was my thoughts on the Satin Oud Barakat from Fragrance World. Guys, if you need more content, click on that video header up above. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel, you're going to do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Salute.